Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Scout Tactical Channel. Tonight a really cool knife that I've really been, I've been wanting to buy for about six months and I finally decided to pull the trigger. It's not super expensive, but it is the Saw Growl, G-R-O-W-L, which was new for 2013. It's December 2013 I decided to make a little secret Christmas present for myself. So, what do we have here? Well, basically we have a Molly capable, and I'll preface that with kind of, combat knife or a kitchen knife, or a camp knife, or a hunting knife, or a jack of all trades. I think this thing will do a lot. Now with the Tonto or Tanto blade, whatever you prefer, it's not gonna be a great skinner if you're a hunter. So this knife, the, that blade shape to me just doesn't work very well with this. If it was rounded, it would, but that extreme angle tends to be kind of funky when you're trying to skin stuff. But other than that, a stabber oh yeah man this is a self-defense knife from hell and this is also a great le knife it's so small i think it would even work if your department authorizes it on your tactical vest or even behind the grip of your pistol on the uh, duty belt so i like it um it doesn't have a ton of retention though so it might not be a great duty belt option but it is very nice it is very lethal and it is made really really well you already know by now by watching the Scout Tactical, the Scout Prepper, and the Scout Hunter channels that I love SOG knives. I just love them. Absolutely one of my favorite brands, and I have a bunch of them. So this one's kind of new, and it's very different. Total departure from what SOG is normally doing. So one of the first things you'll notice on this knife is it doesn't have the normal all-black, solid-wrapped, Craton-style handle that most SOG fixed blades have, and proportionately, it's small. It's not as big as most of the SOG knives. Let me show you a water bottle, right? Common household water bottle. Pretty little. It's about that size. It's about the size of a water bottle, which is, according to the SOG website, 8.1 inches with only a 3.6 inch blade. So real cool. Look at this bad boy. It has handles that are removable with those allen screws so immediately off the bat i'm thinking i'm going to cerakote these handles because it just would be cooler if it was tan or green the knife is made in china i hate that but that's how it is as you see it's a full tang it's really beyond full tang are you getting the thickness down i hope the camera shows that well not only does it have jimping from basically damn near the back to the front it has a super thick 0.25 inch quarter inch thick blade and this thing is short fat and stout which really gives it a great feel in the hand it fits perfectly it's not sticking down a ton it's not uh way too short where it's way up here there's no such thing you're not choking up you're not choking back you're just holding the knife and that's what i believe in i, I don't like these alternate hand positions just to be honest it has a crazy bevel to it an extreme edge the steel on this is pretty neat as far as i can tell it's the first knife i have with that steel and it's listed as a crucible steel it's 9 cr 18 mov 9 cr 18 mov i'm not sure of all the ins and outs of it but i can tell you this it has a 58 to 60 rockwell hardness which is i think two points as far as i can tell from some of my other knives Two points harder steel than others, yet this is the sharpest factory SOG knife I've ever had. In fact, as far as I can tell, it seems to rival the Cold Steel Outdoorsman, the full $200 Cold Steel Outdoorsman that I have. And that was the, was the that was Sam My 3 steel, and that was the sharpest knife that I thought I had. So this thing, super duper sharp. I like that. It also, like I, like I mentioned, with the 3.6 inch blade, it's 5.2 ounces, by the way, in weight, which is a great weight. It's perfect for a lot of daily tasks. It's not some huge 8 inch survival knife, 8 inch blade, which I like the big knives. You already know that. I have probably 20 big knives. Everybody likes the big knife because we all grew up watching Rambo. But in reality, sometimes some of the more useful knives on the daily tasks would be a smaller blade at 3.6 inches with an 8 inch overall length and a 5.2 ounce weight. Okay, here it is. It holds a great edge. It's super stout. It has awesome removable hand guards. So let's say you do clean an animal with it. You could easily hose them out. 
All right, and then put the grips back on once it's dried off. So very durable, very maintainable as far as I can see. I went around cutting some stuff at the house with it today. It did great. I even cut some meat with it. It did great. Now, onto the sheath. Very unique. I've never seen a SOG sheath like this. So it's a Kydex bottom. It's a nylon top. How strange. It has a Velcro system around the button velcro here so when you put it down it velcros without snapping or it snaps for even better retention I like that the knife snaps in to the sheath so there you go it's definitely not coming out it's super super duper in there now one really cool thing on this sheath is that these screws to there to there will allow the top nylon portion to come off. See how this is a piece and this is a piece, kind of like an upper and lower of an AR. When you take this off, these two screw holes and these two screw holes would be empty. And guess what? Now you can lash this thing to your vest, to your molly gear, to your pack, to your whatever, your, your, your jump gear, whatever you have. So without this belt part, you have a little baby Kydex sheath that's very weatherproof and it goes on your molly gear. I'm liking that. It really goes on to whatever the heck you want. I mean, you can strap it to an Alice pack if you wanted to with 550 cord. On the strap up here, not only does it have the retention, but it has the belt loop back here. It's very changeable. See this? So you can put that through something super huge. You fold it down with Velcro on Velcro, and now you just have a belt loop here. Maintain the small profile. So all in all, I'm loving this knife. And I mean loving this knife. I think that it's one of the best buys from SOG in a long time, and I'm a huge SOG fan. It is made in China, but most knives are. That's disappointing, but the way the world is in my mind sometimes. And at this price point, I'm seeing these things anywhere from about $70 to $90. Okay, now we've got a top-end knife at about half the price. Remember that some of your even regular SOGs, the Force, the Seal Team Elite, the Seal 2000, these knives are all $100. These knives are all $125. The Agency, $140. The Creed, $150. So if you go through the SOG lineup, $60 to $80 bucks is a great price. Really? And it is. It's a great knife that's super stout. I think it's the thick, one of the thickest blades in their lineup. I think it's also going to be one of the toughest blades in their lineup. And as far as utility goes, you can't beat it. Let me give you one little piece of paper to show you a cut test real quick. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. So it cuts like it's not even there if you're not getting that. Um, crazy. Right? Kind of hard to do on camera. Super good. You see these cuts. Pretty effortless. It cuts really well. I'm proud of the knife. I like the knife. I'm going to use this knife quite a bit. I don't think necessarily I'm going to press it into service in my law enforcement role as a detective, although I do carry an AR in my Tahoe and I do have a tag vest and stuff like that. Uh, but I definitely see it getting used as a camp knife, as a hunting knife. It's going on. It's going into my gear in some way. Guys, as always, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for the views. We're in just turned yesterday in month four. We've got 300 subscribers, so let's keep it rolling. Check us out on the web at scouttactical.com and on Facebook at the Scout Tactical channel. As always, thanks for watching.